How good is AI really? Because today I'm going to show you something that is so incredible and I'm going to do it fairly quickly. Hey everybody, this is Rich Hanlon with Mortgage Ballers and today I've got a really uh, controversial topic, uh, if you allow it to be. And that topic is, how good is AI really? Is it going to take your job in the next couple of years? Um, or is it just a tool that we can use to enhance our loan officer uh, experience with our clients and get more business? I'm going to say, well, how about this? How about we put it to the test and then I'll give you my opinion afterwards. We do a lot of YouTube. We have uh, 10 channels. One of them is frontward facing. That means you see my face. And we have nine channels that are what we call faceless channels. A lot of people are starting to use what we call avatars. How do you know I'm not an avatar? Well, this is how you'd know. You can see reflections in my glasses. You can hear me breathing. And you'll see mannerisms. Um, avatars are always perfect. They don't make mistakes, right? They're, it's an electronic script reader. Um, so obviously, I'm not an avatar. But... I can tell you on our faceless channels, we do use avatars. I can tell you we use voiceovers that are AI driven. I can tell you that um, our team uses every bit of current technological advantage they can do. And YouTube doesn't seem to care, right? Because um, we've experimented both ways. We want to see what does YouTube like. But this is where I'm going to go with this today. I'm going to show you something that is so incredible and I'm going to do it fairly quickly, I am going to show you how to use ChatGPT, how to get very creative and detailed with ChatGPT, uh, which is free, by the way. I then take that and I pulled over into a uh, application called NVIDIA.io, and it will take that, that information from ChatGPT and it will create a video for me with no copyright issues. We will then take that completed video and we will add a thumbnail and we'll add an opening and we will create a video. <clears throat> Pardon me. So I'm going to try and do what my team does for $50 a video and I'm going to do it for a couple dollars couple of pennies probably because with in uh, video IO it costs me about $29 a month I can do about eight videos um, so you can do that math because again chat GPT is free YouTube's free Facebook's free all right the challenge is on let me show you how to do this I'm going to share my screen first and show you what chat GPT what I did there all right here we go so what I did is I went in and I, like most of us, I was just really basic. And I said, what will mortgage rates do in 2024? And of course, it gave me a very average answer, just what I expected. And this is what most people do, by the way. Then came back chat GPT and I said, what will mortgage rates do if the BRICS nations stop buying U.S. debt? In case you're not aware, that's what the United States backs its currency by is debt. We create debt that people then buy from us and that money helps make our um, economy. We're one of the few countries that do that. Some people have gold, silver, diamonds in Africa, whatever you want, but we use debt because we have a very high rating. So what I did is I put that in and I got a much better answer. Look at this answer. Incredible. I liked that answer. So this is where it gets really good. I went back into chat GPT and watch what I did. What will mortgage rates do if the BRICS nation stop buying U.S. debt? Create a script for YouTube video that is in seventh grade language that will run five minutes. And look what it did. It wrote me a full blown video script. Put in there what it's looking for, right there. Pretty simple, but detailed, quality information. I went from very blasé to very to a quality script. I then did this. Watch what I'm going to do here. And again, this is free right here. Chat GPT is free. 
You can get a paid version. I don't use a paid version. I'm going to copy that. Now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to take you over to the next application that I use. And this is going to get interesting for you. And this is in video I.O. I'm going to paste that script in here. And there it is. But watch what I'm going to do on this side, because this is going to create the video using AI. I'm going to get a little detailed here. Watch this. Create a video for YouTube with a female voice that is between 30 and 35 years old and very energetic. Make the tone epic. Add in, I don't know, let's say charts and pictures and make the video five minutes long. Boom. I took the script and now I've added a very distinctive request now to the AI video maker. And I'm going to go ahead and click generate. I want you to see how fast this is. It is searching the internet and creating a copyright-free video. Now, a lot of you are saying, what does it have to do with anything? Well, here's what I'm talking about. A lot of you are afraid to get in front of the camera. This is an option for you, which is very, very inexpensive that you can get good at, at making faceless YouTube videos with quality content and you can do them very quickly and you can create an audience for yourself and your audience will be IP address driven because YouTube and Google are very smart, as well as you take the links to your videos and put them on your Facebook, which is also IP address driven. Um, you can boost them at, I usually boost $25 for a week so that I can put it in front of people in my area, geographical location specific. Um, very, very inexpensive. What is the downside? The downside is this is copyright free material. When I use my paid editors and voiceovers, I can get a, a, a little better, um, let, let's say, if, a, if it's a 10 on a scale to 1 to 10, I can get a 10 out of my live people. I can get a 7 to 7.5 rating on an AI driven. But here's the thing. That's pretty close. And from a cost standpoint, the AI driven one is much cheaper. It's getting better all the time. Every day, it learns. It works 24-7. There is no time gaps. There is no language barriers. I could have asked this video to be written in a different language. I could ask this video to be uh, in the tone of an economic advisor and not a seventh grade language, right? So know your audience, and it will create that for you. That's powerful, very powerful. All right, that's generating right here. It's generating live right in front of you. It's going to sit here at about 16%, and then you're going to see it jump to like 75% because it's gathering information off of the Internet and from its uh, database of information. And there it goes. You can see it going right now. Um, this is crazy when you think about it that chat GPT was free, AI uh, in video AI cost me like $29 a month, YouTube's free and Facebook's free. By the way, when I download it, it goes into HD quality with no watermarks and it's 100% my video. Don't forget that, that's really important. Stop sharing uh, that screen right there. I'm gonna go back to Riverside, which is my thing. And let's see, I believe it's this one. Yeah, so this is the video. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And what it sounds like. Are you ready for it? This is going to blow your mind. Ever heard of a mortgage? It's a term you might have come across if you're thinking about buying a house or already own one. It's like a big loan you get to buy a house. Essentially, you borrow money from a bank or a financial institution, and in return, you agree to pay it back over time with interest. And guess what? The interest rate on that loan can go up or down. 
These rates are influenced by a variety of factors, including the economy and decisions made by central banks. Now let's talk about BRICS. You might be wondering what this has to do with your mortgage. BRICS stands for Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. All right, I'm going to stop it there for a second. Do you hear the voice? Do you hear the uptick in her voice? Remember, I asked for a certain tone. I asked for a seventh grade language. She's not using big words, scaring people. But so far, the graphics have been right on for what I asked for. Charts and scenery, families, housing, and it's walking right through that script. The script that I pulled off of chat GPT has been turned into a video. Let's fast forward this a little bit. Like a promise that the government will pay back the money with interest. Think of treasury bonds like IOUs. Just like you might write an IOU to your friend, the government issues these bonds as a formal promise to repay the borrowed money. When BRICS countries buy these bonds, they're essentially lending money to the U.S. government with the promise of getting paid back with a little extra interest later. This interest is like a thank you for lending the money, just like you might promise your friend a candy bar when you pay them back. We started this and we said, how is AI affecting right now in this moment our ability as human beings? How close is it? Well, I'll be honest with you. I think it's, in my opinion, it's about 70 to 75% of a, of a human being. Because I'll tell you right now, although I enjoy my working with my team and my partner, Tim Ray, he helps me with that as well. And he makes videos and we both use all this technology. Um, and we're pushing that technology every single day. You're going to see some of his videos. We're experimenting with everything we can because part of Mortgage Ballers is bringing technology ideas to you. And some of you think it costs so much money. Now, some of you are saying, well, then why do you pay $50 a video? Tim is a top producer. I produce and also do real estate. I also run a mortgage company. More gets done if we have a team that does stuff for us. And we have tried a lot of different people to, and we've gotten down to our best team. We have two teams that work on our channels and one works on five, the other one works on the other five. And they help us on our Mortgage Ballers channel with editing and things like that. We are a big enough overall account to them that we get their best people. One of the teams is out of Pakistan, one of them is out of Sri Lanka, and they work opposite of us to where we walk into completed things. What does that really get down to? We have an expectation that we're going to have X amount of videos over a certain amount of time um, over the next five, six months as we bring these channels forward. What do we do with these channels? We are learning the Facebook or uh, YouTube algorithms. We're learning how AI is affecting our industry. Um, we are learning how AI, how close it is, and all the different applications for it. Uh, we use AI to make videos. We use AI to make shorts. Uh, it takes a video and automatically turns it into shorts because you guys know what shorts are. Uh, we use all of this thing to have um, a Spotify podcast. We're getting our information out there in a lot of different ways, and we're able to get it out there quickly. My bottom line with AI is it's here to stay, it's real, and I either need to embrace it and use it as a tool to my advantage, or I need to say, woe is me, it's going to take over, and I need to lead the industry. I choose to make AI my tool. You need to understand the power that's at your fingertips and every one of you has a voice and an opportunity to get a following via YouTube by getting your name out there and your consistency. What is consistency? Two videos a week. You don't need to do more, but you definitely want to do two videos a week. That's about eight videos a month, just so you know. And we have found that works just fine. Also, the next thing is, and I'm going to go off right here too, but this was a very specific video for those that make it this far. Five-minute videos, eight-minute videos. 
maybe 10 minute when you're getting down to it. That video I created was just under, I think it's six minutes. People don't want to watch an hour on interest rates. You'll lose them very quickly. So this is specific to loan officers, what I'm doing right now. I just took you through and showed you how to do something that you can do yourself. And by the end of the day, you should have five videos made and you should be practicing. I'll tell you what, make sure you send your comments down below. Anybody that attempts this, tell me how you're doing. If we need to get face to face and I can walk you through how to do it, I'll be happy to do that too. It's a learning curve, but it's not hard. All right, everybody, that's it. I wanted to show you how I do this, but today was about technology. All right, I'm signing off. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you give us a comment. If you're liking what we're doing, we'd love to hear from you. But what do we always say at the end? Stay thirsty, my friends. <laughs>